Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. You're a troublemaker. I'm sure there was some sequencing like inefficiency here. Maybe I could have done more, but. Dude, uh, they want treasures. They exactly. gotta hunt for them. Let's Look, he's the dungeon master. I'm the dungeon master. Everyone draw as much cards as you can. <laughs> he's a friend of nature. But he's not lewd, he's just nude. He's a crude nude dude. Why must you draw cards all the time? Must be nice to have nice things. Go to combat. Cool. The homie Zamboni. Counters, finally, blue. Blue has entered the game. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone, it's Lynch, and here we are on I Hate Your Deck for another new episode with some great guests. A channel where you get to see the spiciest decks and you get to have fun seeing how much you can just have fun toasting your friends and roasting your friends while playing Magic, the Gathering Edition. And as always, I just love playing paper uh, magic with my friends. This is, this is the Gathering Edition. Remember during COVID when we couldn't play in person and- There was no gathering. There was no gathering. It was sad times. It blew. Well, sad times. We, we met up through the eighth. However, room. that's how we met. That's how I met Lynch, was there when when someone was on his way. Yeah, when my, my, when my wife went into labor, was oh, we yeah. were playing on webcam. Yeah. We played on and, webcam and, when you were at the hospital after. Yeah, we played in the hospital Lynch too. After, <laughs> uh, uh, was I, I was in the hospital and, and she's breastfeeding, so I was like, why not, you know, play magic with my friends, you know? <laughs> so I was still on spec. Barry yeah. attacked her with a, and populate spell, and then she <laughs> she got all sprocked, and we were like, why are that's you shocked? Not, you know that's like, what the Jira yeah. does. Jira populates. Like looking at my cards. And then she okay. stood up and, you know, her water broke and then and they saw me like you know pacing back and forth <laughs> yeah saying like dad what do i do he's like take her to the hospital you idiot they witnessed watching all that and i remember hearing like some of the people like talking look at mike he looks really nervous and it's like <laughs> yeah, you're on the phone with your dad and you're like freaking out because you don't do you hear your, your your friend in the background doing commentary he's getting sweaty He's pacing back and forth. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. And you're just sitting there like, I hear all He this. looks lost. We went out and uh, yeah, my son was born. Good yeah, times. Awesome. Who are you? I'm Skylar Funk. I'm a musician, hot sauce maker, and magic player. And I'm stoked to be back on I Hate Your Deck, ready to sling some spells. What's up, everybody? I'm Larry. Excited to be back here playing uh, some magic with Lynch and Sky. A lot has happened in my life. We welcomed uh, our third baby girl into the world. On, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So big ups to uh, Celeste. In between not sleeping, I've been brewing a couple decks and excited to showcase some of that. Oh, cheers! Yeah. Oh, yeah, cheers. Hey guys, it's Sean back again to play some more magic with my friends here. Yeah, we're gonna have a good, great game. Let's go. Have a great game. Let's go into the pre-game rule zero conversation. I have the Stranger Things cards. Because of Stranger Things, you know, reoccurrence of the new seasons and stuff, I got back into it after falling off and I thought it would be fun to finally go ahead and build a five color Stranger Things deck. So most of the Stranger Things cards are in here as well, but these cards are available. They, they did get printed and not secret layers. They're not like exclusively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been reprinted. Yeah. This, they've this been guy's reprinted. like a Cathar or something like that. Yeah, so so you can get access to the Stranger Things cards as magic lore without having to be this lore, but I just, for the flavor of the show and Hell yeah. the new season, Love I did it. the Stranger Things. Yeah. This deck is entirely printed, so it's full proxy besides the Stranger Things cards. I can tell it, it looks awesome. like a literal fort of pillows yeah, over it's there. it's like a the pillow fort. <laughs> you gotta really keep pressing it down so it doesn't yeah. like, you know, fall on the table. You know, mana drain, definitely some fast mana, cool. mana crypt in here. There's definitely like free counter spells yeah. in here. You know, a lot of this is though, the deck is wanting me to draw cards or investigate with clues. So I'm trying to get clues. I'm trying to give you guys clues. You're trying to get a clue. Yeah, I'm trying to get Try to get a clue. So this, this this is definitely heavy on the investigate theme. I'm trying to draw cards. I'm trying to 
create clues. 11 the mage, she's Grixis, a human wizard. Your maximum hand size is 11. Whenever 11 attacks, you draw a card and lose one life. Then if you have 11 or more cards in your hand, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. And she's got friends forever, which means you can have two commanders if they both have friends forever. So 11 and Mike are friends forever Cute. so that I can have two. It's like a partner mechanic, but it limits to who you can be partners with. So Mike, the dungeon master, is just a human. Pay two colorless, tap, choose target, creature card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn, return it to the battlefield tapped. The he big, saves the, his friends. He saves his friends. Cutest yeah. mechanic I've ever which seen. Is, which <laughs> the other reason why I had Mike was so that I could put the other colors in to have all colors covered for the five color. Dude, I've been wanting to build Liesa Shroud of Dusk for a long time. She is a black, white, life gain angel ever since, as long as I've been playing for 23 years. Angels have always been my favorite tribe and they finally made this sexy black, white version. So Orsoff life gain, also through the magic of proxies, is half printed in here for sure. I don't know if I've ever built an Orzhov deck and I've wanted to make this one for a long time. So this just got thrown together. I think I goldfished it twice, I honestly don't know. I'll read the card, Liesa Shroud of Dusk is two white, white, black for a legendary angel, 5-5. Five, five. And it, she says, rather than pay two for each previous time you've cast this spell from the command zone this game, pay two life that many times. She has flying lifelink, and whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. That's a pretty big part. Let's go, I wanna see what That's happens. A, if she resolves, what I've noticed with this deck is, is that we're on a clock. Die. <laughs> we're on a clock and the games end fast because every time we cast a spell, we're losing two life. She's secret, like and I- And then you gain life so it doesn't hurt you as much, but if we don't have life gain, which I don't really have in this deck, we're in trouble. Cool. Let's go. What yeah. you got, Larry? I know Lost what you got. Ouchies. Can I introduce your deck? I'm so stoked. Dude, <laughs> you're really excited about a, a potential world of pain because this, I mean, let's face it, it's mono brown, so <laughs> Kozilek like the yourself? Great Distortion is gonna be a little inconsistent, but Sky, I'm gonna let you. Tell him that you want him to play it. This is your fault. I am very excited to see Kozilek the Great Distortion. Eight diamond diamond for a 12-12 legendary Eldrazi. When you cast Kozilek the Great Distortion, if you have fewer than seven cards in hand, draw cards equal to the difference. Menace and Discard a card with converted mana cost X. We'd say mana value X these days. Counter target spell with mana value X. Gross type, so stoked. It, it yeah. can be gross. It'll probably do some gross things. Kozilek distortion, the great distortion, so I'm really here for the mana base, which has so many spell-like abilities and, and random utility baked into it because I don't need. As far as like power level for this deck, I feel like it's almost better explained by what the deck is not going to do. I'm not gonna go infinite, I don't think, with anything. There's no infinite mana combo. There is, however, Forsaken the potential monument. for, that's in here. Doubling. The, then doubling cube. So I'm making big mana, but not infinite cool. mana. The worst thing my deck can do is probably counter. So left unchecked, I could assemble something like Nevenerol's Disc and Darksteel oh, Forge, the one yeah, that makes yeah, everything yeah. indestructible. indestructible That's too, pretty but sick. I have probably like one tool to actually tutor for either piece, so not, not particularly likely to happen. More likely to just have giant Eldrazi coming at your face. <laughs> I've got the tools in the mana base and in the deck itself to bring Eldrazi. Today I am playing Lord Windgrace. It's an old deck that I've had for quite some time. Going through it, it probably has like maybe one one or two cards left in it that were from like the original pre-con. I really just like locked into it with the, the lore and being a part of like the old magic lore and him being a part of the original like Urza's help destroy some plane. You tell us in the comments Sean. what plane they destroyed. We'll yeah, know yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Look in the comments if you want to see what Dude, plane was destroyed. I, I love the lore. I love the old old magic lore and stuff. Really pumped on like Brothers War is just a blast. So if your deck, deck yeah. goes unchecked, what's the worst thing <clears throat> it'll do to us? So it's the usual stuff where he discards land cards to draw me more cards, like two cards and then I can bring stuff back from my graveyard, do shenanigans with like Glacial Chasm, making sure I don't get attacked. I mean, obviously he can still, but I don't mind recasting him because I'll be getting so many lands. And then like playing a big X spell or like just having a huge board advantage to attack you with or like Perforo stuff. There's many avenues cool. to just like try to get some damage in. 
Uh, Lord Windgrace is two black, red, green, legendary planeswalker commander. Comes in with five loyalty. I can plus two him to discard a card and draw a card, but if that card is a land card, I can draw an additional card, so two. A minus three to return up to two land cards from my graveyard to the battlefield, which is pretty good because they come in untapped. And then minus 11, which I actually don't really do a lot, but it is pretty good. Destroy up to six target non-land permanents. Create six 2-2 two -two green cat warrior creature tokens with forest walk. Landfall deck likes to do landfall things. Things. Yeah. Now enjoy the show. All right, let's roll and see who goes first. Four. Five. Skyler Skyler wins everyone, five. yes. Notice I'm already winning, guys. You got that right. So this is a keepable hand. Sky, take us away. I'll do it. Okay. Turn one. Caves. I guess I draw. Wait, do you, do Shut you up. Draw. Yes. <laughs> it is your right. Tight. That changes everything. <laughs> um, so. Hey. Uh, can I take a Sauce hot shot? Hot sauce shot? Yeah, damn it, it's yeah. an hot shot sauce. <laughs> Guys, I played Caves of Koilos, tapped it, pinged myself to cast Souls Attendant, a 1-1 one, one human cleric with whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may gain one life. Kill it. So it begins. <laughs> Kill it. Sure. Really. <laughs> Go. It's a problem already. I've seen these creatures last so long on, on I know. the battlefield. We, who we wants to, to use a removal it. spell on a one mana? Exactly. On a one I know, exactly. but they're needed. I, I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play an Overgrowth Tomb tap so I don't shock myself for two and pass. Shocking. Excellent. Yeah. I will draw as for my right, and I will play it as Full Art Forests Gross. from a cool set, and I'll pass. So, I will draw for turn and play Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. I can tap it to add one to my mana pool. I can also tap it to add two to my mana pool, but I may spend that mana only to cast colorless spells, and I may activate that ability only if I control seven or more lands. I'm going to tap Shrine of the Forsaken Gods and cast an Expedition Map. Pay two, tap and sacrifice it, search your library for a land, any land of my many utilitarian yeah, yeah. lands, and I'll pass the turn. What are you saying, like Batman? Yeah. Utilitarian? Utili yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, right, I think utility. we just got philosophical. Yeah. Guys, I play Fetid Heath, pay two for Talisman of Hierarchy. Tap and ping myself for a white to drop Speaker of the Heavens. It's a 1-1 one, one human cleric with Vigilance and Lifelink, and it taps to create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if you have seven life more than your starting life total, and only any time you could cast a sorcery. Trigger your soul's attendant? I would trigger soul's attendant, and I will go to combat, and as per tradition, smack Lynch in the face. <laughs> for one. For one. I get smacked for one. Yeah. A hearty one. That'd be my turn. All right, I'll untap, draw for turn. Oh, I'm gonna play a forest, tap forest in the overgrown tomb, and I'm gonna cast what is traditionally known as an arcane signet oh. that people enjoy. Command Spear is gone. Screw your Pass. Rest. rest in peace. It's cool. so slow compared to where the game has gotten in certain playgroups. They printed enough two mana rocks that you don't need three mana rocks. But Commander Sphere always replaces itself. You know, when the board wipe hits, like you sack your Commander Sphere True. and everyone else's soul rings and stuff gets swept up. you playing Commander Sphere, okay? Not yet. I do run in some decks still. I am playing another Full Art Forest. This time it is from Amon Kev. Oh my god. Is he gonna do that every time? <laughs> I like He's really, good with the lore. I really like to talk about the reasoning why I'm playing everything. I'm going to cast this nature's lore as per tradition. Yeah. That's about as lore forward as your deck gets, Yeah, Sean. Exactly. <laughs> Grabbing a forest, it will come into the battlefield untapped. I will have no other uh, play after that and pass the turn. Okay. Right. I'll untap, draw. Play a Field of the Dead. Heard of it. And, ooh. Do read that. Jesus. Field of the Dead, huh? You were trying this to take a hot sauce wrong card. Shot? It enters what? taps. I didn't read that. I'm a Oh, clown. boy. Oh. Are we doing a hot shot song? Hell no. Ah! <laughs> oh. He's had the size of the new shot glasses. Five Wait, minutes in, he's already. Hot sauce. Hot hot I forgot shot. this enters tap. It enters tap, German. it taps for colorless, and when it or another land enters the battlefield under my control, if I control seven or more lands with different names, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. So when I hit seven lands, things are gonna start happening. It's gonna be so yeah. tight. I will pass the turn after that. Okay, untap, draw. I got a land. Here we go. I tap swamp, dark ritual, three mana floating. I'll cast Phyrexian Arena. Mm -hmm. No mana floating. One, two, Felwar Stone. You're a troublemaker. So. I'm sure there was some sequencing like inefficiency here. Maybe I could have done more, but I'm going to combat. Yeah. I'll spread the love. Sean, you got a Souls of Tenet coming your way, and Larry, Speaker of the Heavens, is attacking you. No blocks. No one's at 40. And then I'm out of moves, so I'll pass. 
I untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna play a swamp for turn, tap all four. This will be white, which is the only color that's important for this card. I'll cast a Smothering Tide. No! I think it might help Hated me deal it. with some of your guys' shenanigans. This is a five color deck, so it does have access to a lot of fun things. It has we're access about to, to a certain special set of skills. Of this deck has a certain all set of, of skills. Them. All of them. Are you ready for the Stranger Things? <laughs> I'm actually yeah. rooting for you. I want to empower Eleven and Mike to like go win the war against Dude, the... they want treasures. They exactly. gotta hunt for them. Let's Look, he's not the Dungeon Master. I'm the Dungeon Master. Everyone draw as much cards as you can and never pay for Smothering Tide. Yeah, I want don't to see pay. that deck go off. More treasure. You're not gonna pay for them. Our heroes. I will pass a turn. I will untap, draw, reward for playing Magic. <laughs> You're paying the two for the Smothering Tide? Oh. Uh, I have now lamented that draw. I am not paying to. On a happier note, I'm gonna pay for, I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna cast a Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Good card. Yeah, yeah. Sexy nymph, man. Yeah, yeah, naked uh, nature boy just hanging out, just chilling. Blue he's blue a friend of nature. Me. I mean, if- But he's not lewd, he's just nude. <laughs> he's, a, he's a crude nude dude. <laughs> this Herborg, <laughs> Tomb of Yawgmoth, that's my land for turn. Okay. That's my first land. Play this Dark Depths as my second land for turn. It's Ooh. not a big deal. Don't even worry Never about is. it. Never is. I don't like Dark Depths. I'm gonna cast this Zurin Orb even less for free. Than a big deal. I'm sorry, but read Dark Depths. Dark Depths is a, ne is a legendary snow land. It doesn't even tap for mana. It enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it. So, I mean, come on. Then you have to pay three and to remove one ice counter from Dark Depths. So I mean, much mana? Again, no, yeah, yeah. a lot. So you run Thespian stage? I mean, here's the deal. Okay, no, cool. He'll copy Got it. a legendary it's roll and it'll die. Yeah. Good job. Zurin Orb does what? Zurin Orb is a zero mana cost artifact that costs zero, sacrifice a land, gain two life. With that, I will pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap, draw, not pay. Excited about that. Treasure. Do. I will play a Tower of the Magistrate. I can tap to add one colorless mana to my mana pool. I can tap one and tap it, and target creature gains protection from artifacts until end of turn. That doesn't sound relevant until it is. So uh, you make all of us have artifacts. Or try to equip hmm, your sword. That seems how yeah. You all have are. artifacts, and then I blow up everything, but my <laughs> artifacts are indestructible. But again, that's not in the deck. So that's that's not there. Oh, that for one that is reason. it? Lettuce. No. No, I, again. Lettuce? no. Yeah, he's not gonna make a sense. Okay. That's, lettuce, that whatever. sounds kind of lame to me. I'll pay three and cast a Dark Steel Ingot. It's indestructible, and I can tap it to add one of any color to my mana pool. Mr. Trigger. Oh, I sure did. Mr. Trigger, Mr. Trigger. Gain life off your dryad? Yeah, my dryad. Sorry. Naked nature boy. Bing bong bang. I pass the turn. Crude nude dude. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Draw again. Do the right thing. Yeah. I was like, right as thing. if something would happen. Pay for one of them. Lose life. Draw you have two draws, so are you paying four oh. mana? Nope. Have your treasure. Treasure. <laughs> that is what you are. I'm gonna play my lamp return. Shattered Septum. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more other lands. I felt that. Do. Damn near that rectum. Hurt. Yeah, that's why, that, that's why I felt that. I felt <laughs> hurt in my rectum. Okay, and I mean, I guess we should do the, always play this first, always play this first. One, two, three, four, Vidalk and Ori. Ooh, oh, yeah. that sucks. Yeah, no. Sucks for everyone but me. Now our turn's your turn. <sighs> I'll go to combat. I see some of you guys are still soft, so uh, yeah. Larry Lynch. And the Speaker of the Heavens get keeps your, knocking on Kozilek's door. Get your chip yeah, in. Take dude. it to the face. Chip in. Speaker's trying to shout, um, dude. Shout at the devil, bro. Speaker's soon gonna start tapping on shout your the end face. step and then creating four four. I pass. Maybe. Right. Well, that's only as a sorcery. Untap. He does look oh. like he's in heaven, and he has no face. Thank you for reminding me that. Maybe at second main, he'll be doing that nonsense. I draw for turn. I will play this land because I have two more opponents. Training center does not come in tapped. I have a lot of stuff I can do, which makes me happy. I'll tap three. Red, green, and colorless, basically. I'll cast Max the Daredevil. She has haste. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, untap target creature, then investigate. So that's a cool thing. Yeah, that's very, really cool. cool. Max is part of the Stranger Thing, so it's one of the Stranger Things characters. Nice. Trigger, Souls Attendant, gave me a life. There you go. Unfortunately, I will be casting another creature <laughs> spell. I will tap an Overgrown Tomb and an Arcane Saint. I will lose a treasure, and I'm gonna cast Fair Bow Elder, oh, which Elder. is a tree folk druid. 
You know, if it was Lord of the Rings, I would see a reprint as, this would be like an Ent no, if oh, it was uh, reprinted in Lord of the Rings, which we'll see eventually. So this has Vigilance. It gets plus one for each color permanent among creatures I control. So currently I have three, so it's a three power. For each color among permanents you control, add one mana for that color and tap it. So once it doesn't have some in this. Three, four, five. Right, I'll, I'll get to tap it for that. Sick card I love. I thought of Bloom Tender as soon as that came down. I was like, oh, okay. Same Poor difference. man's bloom tender. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it like that, but. So on the cast trigger, I will just go ahead in case anyone can go with your creature, untap your soul's attendant. Okay. That will investigate so I get a clue, which does what this deck tries to do. Yeah. And I have the special clue from oh, cool. the secret layer thing. So Neat. I can pay to sacrifice the artifact to draw a card. Trigger because this now, enter after this battle. cast triggered, this yeah. enters yeah. the battlefield. Nobody's field. countering it. Yeah. No one's countering it. You're gonna gain a life. Gain a life. I'm now gonna go down to one treasure. I'm going to cast a Slesnia Signet, not triggering your soul attendant, so you won't gain a life. <laughs> Pass the turn because I have nothing else I can do. All right. I will Big turn tap. for me. Yeah, that was lovely. I'll draw. And you don't pay for smothering tide, I take it. Uh, again. No, I do not. Okay, I have two treasures. I hate that card. I hate that card. Why must you draw cards all the time? Macho Man Randy Savage, stop drawing all those cards! Snap into a Slim Jim before I break your cardboard! A cup of coffee, huh? Yeah, yeah Lord when... Wind Grace. Okay, so I'm gonna tap for five. I'm gonna cast my commander. Grace de Wind. Grace de Wind. Grace de Wind. Mamma mia! He starts at five loyalty. I'm gonna plus two him to seven. Discarding strip mines. Ooh. Cool. I will draw one and then an additional. So there's a drawing? Yes. Draws and two. you're not paying? Yeah. I don't think I he is. Get so I go treasures. to four? Yeah. I hate you. It's gonna happen a lot. Might as well enjoy the ride. I will play this crystal vein as my land for turn. To land, I can tap it to add a colorless, or I can tap it to sacrifice it and add two colorless to my mana pool. That's awesome. He probably has it in his deck too. I do. I'm then gonna to go to combat, and I'm gonna swing the dry out of the Elysian Grove. At me? At you, yeah. Cool, I'll take two. Dude, that okay. way we don't get this thing making angels. Hey guys, yeah. everyone Anything I can do to mitigate that life gain, sure. even as incremental as it may be. I appreciate it. You're shipping it to Larry? Then I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw and not pay. I go to five. I will pay two and crack my expedition map. Let's go on. Expedition. Do you run the Tron lands, Urzas? Yeah. Yes, dude. That achievement unlocked if I ever get I know, there. Yeah. Just, uh, this just this is the only way to really tutor for him. So I'm gonna get Ancient Tomb. It is a gold-bordered Ancient Tomb. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Must be nice to have nice things. It's <laughs> extra special. It oh. also has a gold <laughs> signature. I talk the, shit, but I have. The, is the budget <laughs> magic can play with all the cheap oh, cards. Dude, the minis is expensive cards. He's like, rich asshole. I'm such a bitch about it, too. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't worry, this uh, Frexian so Arena this is real, baby. Ancient Tomb, <laughs> it, it can tap to add two colorless mana to my mana pool and deal two damage to me in the process. Let's go. Yeah. I, I don't know if Let's this is the Get that life total play. down. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I'll I don't give know you if I'm biting off more than I can do. So I'll play Ancient Tomb as my land for turn. Okay. And then I'm going to pay four, okay. taking two down to 36, yeah. and cast a tapped Nevenerals disc. Ooh, that's the old school art mm. that I remember from like when I was a kid. Wow, yeah. late. This is also like fourth edition. <laughs> so it enters the battlefield tapped, and then I can pay one and tap it and destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. I don't like that. Didn't realize that card was that old. Larry oh, plays Larry Niven's bad. disc. Please kinda don't bad activate for everyone. that, okay? I mean, Unless, eventually, I suppose I, okay. I will. Anything else, bro? I pass. Untap, pass. upkeep, draw, lose a life, don't pay, get a treasure. Shut up. And then I get another treasure Drop for return, your draw. not paying. Pay one, no. pay one of them. No, Ugh. no. Well, he's only got two cards in hand. We'll kill him. Let's pay colorless, colorless for an Orzhov Signet. And now with five, Go to combat. I hate planeswalkers and I'm afraid of them, so I attack them. I would say it's never bad to hit planeswalkers. Yeah. yeah. Unless planeswalkers are really shitty. This one's so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your politicking is on point. Dude, I don't know. So, the shittiest of shitty no blocks. He takes two. He takes two. Pass. Good, don't take my life total. I will untap. In response to that, I don't think I can <laughs> respond. I'm casting Liaison, I'm flashing. Oh, that's right. Okay, you do that. Flash in. in. That's right. Then Shit. I do it. That's when I do it. 
I gain a life off the lifelink from Speaker of the Heavens from the attack, 41. And when Liesa enters the battlefield, I gain a life off of Soul's Attendant. You do, and I finished untapping. I have no upkeep triggers. I will draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Misty Rainforest. I'm gonna tap a crack it, lose a life, get a land. So this deck doesn't have dual lands, but it does have shock lands. So I'll go ahead and shock in a Hollow Fountain for two. Bolting one though. Take that damage. Well, That's gonna shock. add up against Liesa. Shock. I'm gonna tap six. Seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna cast Reshape the Earth. I get to search my library for 10 lands and put them on the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffle my library. And you lose two life from the Lysa trigger. <clears throat> Lysa trigger, I lose two life. Gnarly. You're gonna search for more lands than I have this game? I think oh, so. Oh man. I got okay. lucky. When I when Good. this came and you started doing this, it, it looks just like put me in a position. he outwinded yeah. the grace. Yeah. He did. Right. What, so, what is I was only responsible do? for one treasure. I want it to be noted. I'm going to get Raffine's Tower, Watery Grave, Steam Vents, Breeding Pool, Xander's Lounge, Zagath Triome, Catcher Triome, Reliquary Tower, Rogan Thiome, and Command Tower. So they all come in tapped. Cool. Gross. You won't have to worry about them this turn. Has but after, after, after realizing that he can blow up all the artifacts man. that I'm doing with this to force me to use them, I just figured this That's would be good, best. It's a good backup plan, It's right? a good backup plan yeah. is just to get a lot of land so I can do what I want to do when I need to do it. Right. Now I will tap blue, so seven treasures, put it to six. That'll be a black, so black and blue. I will cast Time Sieve. Tap it, sacrifice five artifacts, take an extra turn after this one. Ooh. On oh. trigger of casting a second spell, I will investigate giving me a second clue. Wow. And lose two life from the cast. Right? And so I will then target my Fabral Elder to untap my Fabral Elder Smart. on the cast of the second spell. Yeah. Cards from in hand? Max. None. Love that. No cards in <laughs> yeah, hand. Same. So I have all five colors, so now this taps for five colors. Thank God you now have access to mana because you no, we're looking dire. I'm gonna tap Fabral Elder for five colors Uberg. I'm gonna cast 11 with four of that mana leaving a floating color. Let's say that white. floating white. color will be white because the only other thing I could possibly do would be the Dungeon Master. Go to combat. Loses the floating mana. Losing the floating mana. I'm going to attack Lord Windgrace <laughs> for three. Good one. Okay. Goes to two. Second main, I'm going to tap, sacrifice two clues. Three treasures, taking it down to three from six. How quickly the turntables have turned. And now I get to take an extra turn after this one. Which is bonkers, I, we are now fucked. So what, Boy, I really want me a Sculpting right? Steel right now. Of... Yeah, so I'm gonna go to my extra turn. Okay. May I see time save real quickly? Yes, you may. Please destroy it. Make sure I did, I did everything correct. Sacrifice, uh, take an extra, okay. That, that, that yeah, works at instant speed, guys. We might be done playing Magic. I will go to my second turn. I will untap all my lands. Untap my Fairbrill on her, untap my time sieve. Mike, why didn't you cast Mike? I didn't have, I didn't want to waste the treasures. Mm -hmm. I am going to draw for turn. But it would have been hilarious. Mike should cast Mike. Yep. I will now spend three mana to cast Mike. I will tap. Mike casts Mike. I'm going to tap forest and the plains and a swamp to cast Mike, the dungeon master. We forgot to do the Lysa trigger for this and we're right. just now getting around to acknowledge You really gotta pay attention to everything. I turn. know I do and yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try <laughs> okay. harder. So hold on. So, sorry when we realized we forgot a uh, Liza trigger on my time sieve, so I'm gonna lose two life from the time sieve that was cast last turn before I started my extra turn. Now I'm casting Mike the Dungeon Master for three mana, a green, a white, and swamp. Cool. And, and we'll we'll gain a life, trigger. Mike loses two life. Yeah, the soul is attending. And on ETB, I gain a life. I'm gonna need to draw a card. So whenever 11 attacks, you draw a card and lose a life. You are going to kill me, sir. I will go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack with all three. Max is gonna hit Wind Grace. Mm -hmm. Favorable Elder will hit your face. How dare you. 11 will go after Larry on the attack trigger. I'll draw a card, lose a life. This guy's gonna kill me. I have no blocks. Okay, I will face block three damage. Indeed, as well. Mm. Oh, that's commander damage. Second main, I tap for red, tap for blue, and then two. I will cast Gazalea, Prismari. On the second cast trigger, I can untap a creature. Hold on, you're gonna lose two life for Liesa. Yep, top of the stack. Top of the stack, lose two life, correct. In response, float five Uberg, and then I'll untap Faber. That will create a clue. Mm -hmm. Then he lands. He ETBs. Trigger off of the soul's attack. I gain a life. 
And then when Gazalith enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. He gets the treasures. Yeah, so you actually get the treasure token first, I believe, and then the Souls of Tin will trigger. Sure. There we go. Five Uberk floating. Tap two to tap and sacrifice this to draw a card. <sighs> that doesn't help me. Tap the time sieve, sacrifice four treasures. Slesnius, Signet, and the four treasures. Mm -hmm. Another turn? To take an extra turn after this turn. I have proceed fucking hate your deck. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll proceed to the next turn? Sure. Okay. Ow. Like, understandably, it's kind of on theme. If we were to sit down and turn on Netflix and watch Stranger Things, it wouldn't be just one episode. You'd yeah. watch like two or three episodes. Just, well, I am sure. going to play a Planes for turn. I'm not going to do anything for my first main. Go to combat. I hate True. that you have a 5-5. Five, five. I never took the, the five damage from... Uh, or this oh, attack three. Wind Grace. Favre. Oh yeah, this Favre attack was five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you should One, hit five. Two, three, four, five. Nice, okay. I'm gonna swing with everything but Mike. Cause I want Mike available in case I need to do, bring something back. Okay. I'm just gonna do choice, six yeah, yeah. at you and eight at you. What Nothing creatures really? are attacking me? What? about to blow everything up of yours? Well, I think I'm okay with it at this point. Cause at least I have enough land to hopefully recast stuff and do stuff. Which creatures are attacking me? I wouldn't not pressure his life at all. But if you just want to attack me, that's fine. Yeah, six at Larry, eight oh, at you. Oh, I thought you were attacking yeah, me. No, 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 no. Six at Larry, eight at you. On the attack trigger, I will draw a card and lose a life. Down to 27, six commander. 26. Well, I think, I think that's all. I can do. Mm. I know. Good job, Mike. Shame. I get the so, second turn. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to pass the turn. Incredible. Oh my god, are we pass sure? The turn. We're good? Yeah, because I, that was, that, that thing, I have yourself. nothing to cast, right. I have nothing to do. Dust is well, gonna fly off these. Mike, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're now coming for you. Yeah, we yeah. have to kill we, you. Though. We now have turns. Do you pay for smothering tithe, or is he just gonna keep taking more turns? Kind of Mana isn't this. his problem. I've been, I just took like a bunch of damage. I yeah. need to have like, We should else. not choke off our mana trying to keep him from getting treasure. Mm. Well, although the artifacts give him the extra treasure. Yes, yes, just the have artifacts to give him the extra turn. That's the okay, fucking well, problem. That's can, the problem. Can you blow up time You set? can destroy the time set. And you can take care of both the problems next turn, which yeah. includes my stuff you too. Are, so I have to kind of play against that as well. That's the only thing that I'm kind of. So are you paying for the treasure? You get a treasure. Whoa, bro, those are extra turn treasures, bro. Uh, no. Is there a land that destroys artifacts that you have? You know, there's Blast Zone, but then I'd have to remove the counter from it. I have Ratchet Bomb in this deck, Not which land. is great against treasures. If you were to get us a land, I could get Blast Zone, put counters, but that's slow. Yeah. Well, well if you do time. blow up the board, I can at least start hitting Sky. You don't have Boseju in your cool deck, Sean? I do. Oh, okay. Well then, why don't you go... Tutor for it and use it. Tutor for it and right. use it, guy. Guy? Right. <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> then let's let's be friends and you can and you can help me out. I'm gonna pay four and I'm gonna cast Tempest Discovery, taking two from Lysa. So you also have a bounce land in this deck? Of course. Then in that case, I'll be tempted. Okay. Well, I, I get my land first and then... If he plays Boseju first off of that and then I am tempted, he can get a Karu, bounce the Boseju to his hand, and then activate Boseju to kill Time Sit. Cool, and then we can go back to letting Mike have all the treasure he wants, Without because it doesn't turns. turn into extra turns. It's just mm. more mana that he and already has. And this is how you deck. I did play optimized. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, not doing great. play optimized. It's doing great. So there's, I need more card draw. Right. I'm running into a problem. You it's did great. also sacrifice two clues earlier to get your first Talk about Boseju who shelters all, right? Well, well I, I figured that <laughs> once I saw I could do reshape the earth. And that was 100% so I will choose correct. Boseju. And they get a turn, yeah, I was like, yeah. wow, I can get a bunch of lands you choose and go on top with it. Yeah, yeah. do you choose a land? Why don't you go get a land? Okay. Twist my arm. Mike, are you tempted? I am not tempted. <laughs> I mean, I got a land I'm not tempted. I guess, Reshape whatever. the earth there. It's, it's not any land. Any land. Any land. Onto the battlefield, untapped. Should I get a Bajuka Bog and just ruin you for for hooking me up with the land? You should get Bajuka Bog. I'll get I'm gonna Inventor's fetch. Fair. Yeah, and I'll get Ancient Tomb. Now you get to hurt yourself. I know, I'm I so like excited. That, that yeah. makes you really excited. This so, deck is like Inventor's masochistic Fair, for sure. At the beginning of my upkeep, if I control three or more artifacts, I gain one life. I can tap it to add colorless to my mana pool, and I can pay four and sacrifice it to search my library for an artifact. Reveal it, 
put it into my hand, then shuffle. I can activate that ability only if I control three or more artifacts. Nice, I should probably 100% be running that card in this deck because that life gain trigger would be powerful. Even though it's like not an artifact deck, there's rocks and stuff. Were you tempted, Mike? No, I was not. Okay, so yeah, he gets three total lands. Yeah. They are Glacial Chasm. Glacial Chasm, Boseju, and Golgari Rot Farm. I'll do the triggers as such. Boseju enters, and I will tap it for a green. Then Golgari Rot Farm will enter. I'll have it bounce Boseju back to my hand. Nice. Then the Glacial Chasm will enter, and I'll have it destroy this forest here. Can we not attack you? So it just won't take damage. Glacial Chasm says, cumulative upkeep of two life. When it comes into play, I sacrifice a land. I cannot attack, and all damage to you is reduced to zero. So nice. it stops damage, but not loss of life. That's so crazy. I'll still take like Lysa yeah, yeah. stuff, right? Because that's loss of life. I was We're good to still hit him and not get politically talked into just hitting your face, huh? <laughs> I mean, I had to whatever. get him down. I had to get him down while I could hit him. I, seemed, seemed like yeah. a good a guess as any. I mean, you know, Larry warned us that you are a, a res player to respect your board states. Did our lands come I in tapped or untapped? Or at all right now. They come in untapped. Okay, cool. They come in untapped, yeah. So I could um, shock myself for no reason. Totally. Tight. I will tap for one with the green floating from Boseju. I will channel Boseju and... Why does it only cost one? Well, it costs two, but I tap this for a green, bounce it to my hand. Uh, yeah, before he... And I will tap the Glacial Chasm for a, a, a mana of any color. Because of Urborg? Because of Urborg oh, and, and Dryad. Dryad yeah. And discard it and destroy target artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land and opponent controls. That player may search their library for a land card with a basic land type, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. This ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature I control. I don't control any legendary creatures. So Channel to you. destroys time seed. And it's, a, it's an ability, it's not a spell, so I don't lose two life for it. Correct. <sighs> don't worry, at least you'll get a land. All right, I Please will. Please do it now. Your favorite thing. I get a land? You, you will. You get to go get a non-basic. Okay. Yeah. It goes to the graveyard. Land card with a basic land type. Ooh, land card with a basic land so type. So if you have the new root, whatever, you, you could get anything. If you have another triome. No, that one green card that says that all lands says, have basic yeah, types. Even in your oh, deck. Yeah, yeah. Is that new green? Redonculus. Yeah, Elf I, I, druid. I, I, all right, so that goes to my right, graveyard. So I'll just do a forest. It comes in tapped or untapped. Put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. So the forest comes into play. Dude, nice. I, I want to draft I'll just Brothers War and I'll, own the cards. And I'll tap for two and, and cast everything. three visits. I'm losing two life. Losing two life. Love that. Lose I'll that life. A, for a forest, I'll put it on the battlefield and then I will pass the turn. Untap. I understand. Upkeep, I only have two artifacts, so not gaining life here. I will draw for turn. You paying? I will not pay. Oh, bro. Really right, at this, at this point, yeah. you know, really. I'll play Phyrixia's Core nice. as my land for turn. I can tap it to add one to my mana pool. I can also pay one and tap it, sacrifice an artifact to gain one life. Very so nice. Sometimes it's relevant. That is my sixth land. Sorry, Field of the Dead. Is there a world where you're just gonna crack the Nevdos? Or are you hoping to let them keep their parts? Wow, safe? the big questions. You know, I think it behooves me to at least give Skylar an opportunity to Womp your face. Okay. Soften. Okay. I just want to make sure you have all the information. I just want to make sure you have the information. Yeah. I mean, I can activate this at instant speed, True. and True. I'm keeping Facts. this mana back here. Yeah. I'm going to tap for six. Okay. Using this for black mana, yeah. so as to not cost nice. myself two, oh, cool. because I'm tapping it for only one black mana. I will cast a kicked Skyclave Relic. Oh, lovely. Shout out to Brian who let me borrow this card and a couple other cards for this Love deck. You, Brian. Two yeah. tapped two copies. copies. Yep. They are indestructible. They tap to add one mana of any yeah. color. If I may, sorry, shout out to our buddy Gary who got me this Boseju last minute so that I could have it in this deck. Wow, that's a... And do things with it. Oh, he traded it to you? Yeah, stopping good. this for a good. time. Using this for a time so like, it's as good as anything. Gary's a luck sack, dude. That guy was like, yeah, man, I bought like three packs of Kamigawa and popped two Boseju. I'm like, what the hell, Yeah, he just casually was like, I have a few if you need it. I got a friend like that. They Shout come out to tap. Bryce. It's awesome. And I lose two life from the cast of Skyclave Relic. Sky, you're gonna win this game. I'll pass the turn. Oh, wow, you think so? Untap. Untap, I upkeep, draw and lose for Frexian Arena. I go to draw, I'm not paying for either of these. So I go to four treasures. Yeah, y'all, we can't let him get clue tokens and we can't let him draw, because he has all the mana to do everything he needs, but if he can't draw, he can't do much, right? First order of business is gonna be to pay one, two, three, four, for a Rocks Faith Mender. I lose two life, 
Off the Liesa trigger, Rock's Face Mender is a 1-5 Rhino Monk with lifelink and if you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. ETB. ETB trigger, I gain two because Soul's Attendant is now gaining me two life a trigger. Now you're getting even kit. money on yeah, any yeah. single yeah. creature. So next move is to play a Scoured Barons, which comes in taps and gains me a life. So two life, puts me to 45. There you go. And then I think I'm going to combat. Yep. Like having this as a blocker because it's keeping Lynch off my ass. You Shit. put me in a real bind if you attack me. Well, I have to attack That's you with good. this one one so that I can get the life gain trigger, but it's not because I don't love you. Mm. Larry. I won't I won't attack you with Souls Attendant, even though I freely could and should. He just gave you the scary Larry bluff face. Is that okay? Can, you should. What is no, the bluff? There's should. nothing to I'm bluff. Not kidding. <laughs> no, it's not about the bluff, it's just that you can't get away scot free. What are you doing? Uh, I'll attack you with this as an act of goodwill. Okay, five commander. You with damage. Liesa and you with Speaker of the Heavens. I can't you do anything. Don't need to attack me with Speaker. I do. I'm not You'll going... see why. I need that two life. Well, you're already getting ten here, but I'm not gonna quibble. It's true. Let's see it what sounded you like I a forgot, little quibbling. I forgot it's a gains me life. But it's happening, dude. It's too bad. I yeah, can't. I'm going to take life. a shotgun. Love you. Okay. So gain 10, 10 plus 2. 12 life. Yeah. Now, before I forget, I should probably trouble. tap this for a angel. Dude. Angel ETBs gains 2 more life. I'm at 59. Pass. Well, so you're not going to Nev's disc? What? Why? And then allow him to recast? What are you talking about? You're not gonna Nev's disc to destroy all his stuff and then he's gonna recast in the second main phase? No. Okay. <laughs> Thought that was the plan. I guess so we changed the plan. I will untap. On your upkeep, I'm gonna cast Siphon Mind. So. Each player discards a card? Yeah, each other player discards before a card. Before draw. Yeah, before you draw. I will I discard a oh. Nature's Lore. Really? Okay, I'll discard Soul of New Phyrexia. Let me resolve some shit first, hold on. I take two from Ancient Tomb, I take two for casting Siphon Mind. So I draw three. Yeah, I'll discard Valakid. Because you draw three, are you gonna pay? Nope, take your stupid treasures. So I go to seven? Yeah. I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna tap for four. I'm gonna cast Anointed Procession. If an effect would create one or more tokens you control, it creates twice as many tokens instead. That is my first spell I've done this Did turn. Did you lose two for it? And then I lose two life. I really need to find some life gain in this deck. I need to go searching for some clues. I'll go to combat. I'm gonna swing 11 at you. We're not friends anymore. Wow. But you don't even take it, right? I, I take it as an offense. Yeah. But... Okay, <laughs> no, but uh, on yeah, the yeah. attack trigger, I yeah, will draw a card personally. and I'll lose a life. Now I'll go to- 15, I love it. I'm gonna tap three. I'll cast Tireless Provisioner. Two life. Lose two life. Whenever <laughs> land, ETB, you gain two life? Yeah, he'll resolve and I'll gain two. Whenever a land enters battle from under your control, create a food token or a treasure token. So that would have been nice to have earlier when I did my reshape the earth, but things don't always come in the way you want. Yeah. It's my second spell I cast this turn before this ETBs. I will Back tap Fairburrow for five. Uberg and I'll untap it and then I create two clues because of anointed procession. I'm then going to use it's a draw engine. four of the five floating from Fable Elder to crack both clues and draw two cards. It's a draw engine. Because he's going to, I'm going to freaking die. Whoa. Show sure enough. Because Don't talk you, about my so I think I, ha I think I have to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to have to tap eight. I'm going to have to cast. Creator's Council, return all cards from the graveyard to your hand, exile it, I have no maximum hand size the rest of the game. Did that resolve? Your graveyard goes to your hand? Uh, yeah. Um, Creator's Camp, time um, save, we'll you go to do back. That? You lose two, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Starting to hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. May I see your graveyard? That's good, that's good. Let's see. Major's what, uh, Lord, time save, Signet, reshape the earth, Misty. Um, with reshape the earth, he will get a bunch Is of clues. Is reshape the earth not exiled? <laughs> I could get a food token. Yeah, that would save me. Yeah, he would cast one spell that could effectively like utilize all the mana he has, but he, he would have to... He would put himself into a precarious position to need to untap. Okay, well... But he has two you, mana, he yeah. could cast Time Sieve and take an extra turn. And untap you... Them. Okay, so that resolves and... So this goes in my hand. I don't think he can sure. do both. I haven't played a land for turn, so I can play a Misty oh, Rainforest. Oh, and then he's got this still. He's got one man yeah. floating from here, and then... So with that, I do get to create two food tokens on the ETB of the Misty Rainforest. 
From Provisioner. From Tyler's Provisioner Trigger. Tyler's Provisioner Trigger on the stack. Yeah, this annoying perception is double. This is exile, right? This is exile. Yeah, that's that's fine. Two food tokens. So I'll tap the Overgrown casting Tomb. Time mm -hmm. I'm time casting time over, time yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm casting over. Yeah, yeah. I'm casting Overgrown Tomb and Command Tower to cast the Time the Sieve. The Time Sieve. In <laughs> response, just so, you're, just you're whatever. Gonna hold priority I'm gonna hold priority, pay one life, and tap Misty to go get a, a land. So then I lose two life for casting Time Sieve. Okay. Okay, and now Time Sieve on the stack. I will pay one and Nev's disc with Time Sieve on the stack. The four, the, the, does the island not come in play yet? No, it, 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 the stack? you held priority, okay. did that to get two. Right, does and, this come into play or not? And then that, yes. and then you, uh, in response to that, so those come into play first and then the time sieve. So this will come in play. Yeah. yeah. So that this will come in play, play yeah. and then that'll trigger two more, two more foods. tokens. Yeah. So I have four food tokens. Then with time sieve still on the stack, he's Triggering Nev's disc. Trigger, triggering He's Nev's triggering disc. Triggering Nev's disc. So then I will tap so. the Arcane Signet, the Island, and I could do. I'll take this to three, and I'll and I'll tap one food token because the Gallus ability allows me to add a mana artifacts you control have add one mana of any color. Spend this only to cast Incident and Sorcery because this is still while this is on the stack, right? Mm -hmm. This yeah, hasn't resolved. Has should wipe out every, all the sack fodder before time sieve gets in, right? Correct. And I'm gonna cast Teferi's Protection. Losing two. Losing two life. So until the next turn, your life total can't change and you gain protection from everything, all permanents you control phase out. You now before this happens, while this is still in the stack, I'm still gonna hold priority. I'm gonna tap Uberg. I had four food tokens. I'm gonna go to two food tokens. One is the one that's tapped, so I'll just do that for now. So then I'm gonna gain six life. Okay. Then I will let Teferi's protection resolve. I will phase everything out. Next disc blows up the board. Fuck. Which is everyone. I'm going to sack this forest and glacial chasm to Zurin Orb and gain four life. Is that four? What, what, what life were you at? Oh, I think I was at 20. I don't know. I thought I was at 21 or 20. So if you gain four life, you'd be 25. This is still. So yeah, this, this so is Teferi's attack. resolved. Disc Fire went, lies. everything but lands. So since I phased out, if we resolve the Nevril's disc, oh. Time Civ now comes in. So technically, yep. Time Civ is, is the only card that's on the yeah. battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Turn after that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm phased out. Okay. <laughs> I think phasing out means your man, turn I is over. I thought you had mana floating. But I think you're phased out. Once you're phased out, you're done, right? You can't cast spells if you're phased out. Your hand doesn't phase out. No, I'm good. So moving on. Okay. All right, so I will untap, I will draw. I've never played a Tef's Protection. What's it like? Oh. I should just proxy it, oh, then I'll know. Sorry. I got real lucky with that Smothering Tide. Good, yeah. good turn for play. When I drew into that, I was like, my all my plans had changed. All right, I'm gonna tap for seven and recast my commander. Grace de Wind, minus three, and return up to two land cards from my graveyard to the battlefield untapped. I'm going to return Boseju, and I'll do Glacial Chasm, mm -hmm. and I will sacrifice. There are, there are ways. I'll well, sacrifice I got one, turn <laughs> I got one turn to at least hit you with everything I have. Oh, shit. I'll tap this for a black with the Urborg. Then I will play Forest as my land for turn, and I will tap for using the floating mana and the two. I will cast a, a Ramanap Excavator. It's a two three. I may play land cards from my graveyard. Perfect. Is a Naga Cleric. Then I will pass the turn after that. Okay. I'll untap at my upkeep. I control three or more artifacts, so I'll gain a life from Inventor's Fear. Nice. That's the only one you get. No, just one life. I will draw for turn. At least no one is playing Ristic Study. That's, oh, leave that there. True, until he does. Play Eye of Ugin as my five. land for turn. Good one, what does it do? Besides tap for a diamond? It also taps for a black because, oh no, no. it doesn't tap for anything. Her Borg is gone. Ouch, bye, thanks Her Borg, thanks for nothing. I can tap seven and tap it to search my library for a colorless creature card, reveal it and put it into my hand, cool. then shuffle my library. The meat and potatoes here is that colorless Eldrazi spells I cast cost two generic less. As my seventh land, it turns on Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, which can now tap for two to cast colorless spells. 
and it turns on Field of the Dead, so it turned making on. me a Z, a Zambi. 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 A Zambi. A Zamboni. Zamboni token. Cool. The homie Zamboni. So Ivugan doesn't tap for her mana right now. Currently, no. It discounts Eldrazi by two, and it mm. taps. Does it sack, or you don't sack to search? No, Jeez. I just tap seven and search. Go on, cool. Go on, queen. Slay. Go on, queen, slay. Pay three and cast Foundry Inspector. Nice. Now I'm gonna cast your commander. So tapping eight because of the cost reduction of two from Koza, or from Eye of Ugin. Losing two life. No, and here's where the comeback from behind from, from Larry tomb. occurs, from where Larry tomb. takes back this game. Kozilek so on much. cast. Uh, if I have fewer than seven cards in hand, I draw cards equal to the difference. I'm One, two, this three, moment. four, five. <laughs> 12, 12, Menace. Discard a card with converted mana cost X. Counter target spell with converted mana cost X. Counters, finally, blue. Blue has entered the game. Yeah. I'll play a soul ring for free with the cost reduction from Foundry Inspector. And no loss of life. Yeah, exactly. I'll drops. tap the soul ring and cast a Voltaic Servant for one and a Grim Monolith for one. Voltaic Servant at the beginning of my end step, untap target artifact, Grim Monolith taps to add three, pay four to untap it. Then I will tap Grim Monolith for Mystic Forge because of the cost reduction. Yep. I can pay three for it. And I will Pass the turn. Nice At stuff. The beginning so. of my end step, I untap target Grim Monolith. Cool. I untap, I draw just one card, like a plebe, hate it. I'll play a planes per turn, and I'll tap diamond, oh sorry, here it is, diamond white, white with the filter land for a Resplendent Angel. 3-3 three, three, Angel with Flying at the beginning of each end step. If you gained five or more life this turn, create a 4-4 four, four White Angel creature token with Flying and Vigilance. And it has the ability to activate for three White, White, White. Until end of turn, Resplendent Angel gets plus two, plus two, and gains lifelink. So I assume that re resolves. Mm -hmm. Larry, thanks. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a three drop? Wait a second. Yeah. No. Hold on. Uh, and then I'll no. pay one, two, three, four, Five with white, white, white and black. Wait, but time save. I wasn't able to find anything to blow it up with. I don't have a solution to time save. And I'm gonna pay. <laughs> These moving along, think, moving along. Mean, uh, I pay two life for Liesa's commander tax and cast her for five. Mm -hmm. That sucks. And that's all I can do with my petty eight mana. <sighs> so a tiny passing. little board, and I pass. I will untap, phase back in. I will draw <laughs> for turn. I'm gonna tap two red. Two white. How are you winning? Three, three black. <laughs> I'm casting Ruinous Ultimatum. Oh. Destroy all non land permanent your opponent's control. Bummer. You are gonna lose two life oh. for casting that. I am gonna lose two life. But otherwise, very quickly. Damn you. With the quickness, a seven mana spell. Um, Discard an Eldrazi. Ugh, yeah. Dude, you mean to tell me I am one mana short here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> as much as I hate the, that, I also kind of just a little bit love, love it. I was just trying to clinch, clinch a game up here. Mana. I drew into this. This is the yeah, top yeah, deck. Yeah. Dude, if I had one more mana, I could just activate Soul of New Phyrexia from my graveyard. And uh, yeah. Five. This doesn't tap for two? It doesn't tap for anything. It doesn't tap for anything because you bounced Urborg. Two. But it's okay because I can activate Phyrexia's core. Sacrificing Foundry Inspector to gain a life. Get <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> you can't take that away from you, sir. That'll teach Mike. Oh, whatever. Bye, Liaza. I didn't want to have permanence anyway. <laughs> With this biggest grin. <laughs> I had to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I cast Reshape the Earth again to draw, hopefully have 10 more lands that come into play to create more tokens. Two and that is my two. second spell for turn. Mm -hmm. So I will tap and I'll tap the, uh, in response, I'll tap the favor for, for Urborg, so I'll fly floating, and I'll create a clue, which will then create two clues due to the anointed procession. Reshape the earth resolves, so I've got. I really wish I had put the gold They come and tap though. One, two, three. Four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Yeah. So I have 10 lands hit. That will give me, I will choose, I will choose five food tokens, five treasures, since I have 10 land hitting the battlefield, which triggers Tylus Provisioner, which will then trigger it so that I get 10 and 10. So this will go to 17, and this will go to 11, since I had already had two out there. I will then go ahead and just to gain some life real quick, I'll tap two lands, sack treasure going to 16, sack another treasure going to 15, so that's four. So I'll, I'll crack two of these going to nine to gain six life. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm going to attack Skylar for everything. So I'm swinging everything at Sky. So I'm swinging at you for 19. Okay. Hey, real quick, Mike, uh, is Provisioner like Tracker to where when you crack foods, he gets bigger? Nope. Okay, cool. I'm taking 19, I'm going to 34. Okay. Oh, sorry, uh, attack trigger from 11, I draw a card and I lose a life. Pay two treasures, go to 13, and then go to 11, just to crack these two. Um, to draw two cards. So now I will tap the time sieve. I will crack five of these, so one, and this is at nine, so I'll go to five. Five. Now go to my second turn. So I will untap, I will draw for turn. That's I'm it. just gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing everything at sky again. 19 again? Yes. Yeah, 15. But on attack trigger, I lose life and I draw a card. I'm not noting commander damage, but like. I think you'll I think die before doesn't that will come yeah, back, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tap three, one, two, and I'm gonna need a green. Three, I'm gonna cast a tireless tracker. Okay. Whenever land enters battlefield, you control when you sacrifice a crew. So there's the thing you were mm -hmm. talking about. So the whole investigate theme is still happening. I'll just go ahead and, and pay one to cast a soul ring. That'll trigger my second spell, which will create another two clues. I'm gonna tap one, two, and it three, also four. Untaps it. I'll tap the Elder Fairbarrow to float five to untap it. Four to then crack these two clues to draw two cards. Because I, I crack two clues, he gets two plus one counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fevered suspicion. Uh, each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast any number of spells from among these non-land cards without paying their mana cost. And it has rebound. Cool. So... Non-land card? <laughs> Let's yeah, go. And that's, you get... uh, that's why I wanted to draw a card. I would have discarded that and... Uh... Oh, wow. Had seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven. so I won't cast that. Mm -hmm. I, uh, can I even cast this? A non-land until the exile. Not you may cast any spell among those non-land without paying. So I will cast the Chroma's Memorial creatures you control of flying first strike vigilance trample haste and protection. So that helps me win the fast. Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's end step, That's if you didn't lose life much. this turn, you may. But I'll still, I'll still just go ahead and, and if cast. If you're doing yeah infinite turns, then that'll end up generating a lot of yeah. I'll, I'll still I'll still angels. do illuminate. Uh, section, so yeah. Luminar Ascension enters the battlefield. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if you didn't lose life this turn, you may put a quest counter on it. Uh, pay two, uh, create a four four, activates only if you have four quest counters. So, <laughs> the only so thing I'm gonna do cool. now is I'm just gonna just one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna cast Parallel Lives so I can just keep making sure that I can do the, the thing. I will then sacrifice the five food if in effect we put one or more tokens onto the battlefield under your control, it puts twice that many Sweet. tokens onto the battlefield instead. I'm gonna tap time sieve, sack the five uh, food tokens that I have to take an extra turn after this turn. I'm now gonna go to my other turn, I'm gonna untap, I'm gonna quickly try to end this for you guys as quick, quick as possible. Draw for turn. Do it. Did, how many creatures do you guys have? In play? No, in the graveyards. I think this is the way to finally win. Here's the win con. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just drew into it. Took a lot of time to get there. I'll cast Rise of the Dark Realms. So everyone right. give me their creatures. So Dryad, Ramanap, Splendid Angel, Soul's Attendant, Speaker of the Heavens, Rayfair. So okay, with all this, is Soul Attendant seeing all of it come in? Yeah. yeah. So how many am I bringing gain, in? Like so the eight life one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. So you I'm gonna count yourself, eight. you gain eight. eight. So I gain eight. One, 18. two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, no, eight. No, 16. 16. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll gain 16 life because of Soul's oh, yeah. Tendon and the Rocks guy. I will now go into combat, and because I have a Chromas Memorial, which creatures you control, flying, first strike, vigilant, trample, haste, I can swing with everything. So let's see how much damage I can do. <clears throat> Yes. Well, you definitely kill me and Skylar. Yeah. This right here is 15. 8, 10, 13, 18, 21, 24. Yeah, so exactly. Right. Nicely done. Done. All right. So now that Now you take all away. your stuff back. Good luck, You Sean. get to keep my dryad. Good um, job, Lynch. Your deck went off. It was awesome. Yeah, it's... it went off really well. I didn't draw a card for the trigger of... So hold on. On, on the attack trigger, though, I would have drawn a card from 11 and lost a life. Oh, all my creatures have vigilance. How many Shoot. cards did you have in your did you have in your hand after you draw that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. So they all have vigilance. They had vigilance because of your Chroma's memorial. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just have to sack five, go to six, tap this to do another turn after my turn because I don't have anything else really to upkeep. Untap. I'm going to draw for turn. All right, this works. Pay one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. Marionette Master. Whenever an artifact you control is put in the graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette's power. Its current limit power is a one. Okay, I'll put three plus yeah. one counters yep. on Marionette Master. Yeah, smart, so right. now it's and a four, it's four. loss of life, which is very relevant for the Glacial Chasm, since this only deals, that, pre uh, prevents damage. Yeah. Okay, so then so I that will. that should do it. If I'm at 25 and you have six, that's, oh, that's only And eight, then so I, will, I will cast Tamio's Journal, which says sacrifice three clues, search a library at the beginning, keep investigate. I guess it doesn't really do anything right now. But it's an artifact, and I at least sack to that too, which is going to cost a loss of life. So how did much loss of life did do you, you need? Did you play a land? So I will pay two, and I will cast a Slesnia Signet. Okay. That will cost me, and I will then tap Faber Elder for Uberg, untap it. That'll give me four clues. That's enough, because then you have thirty worth of. Uh, yep. So the only way for me to get around your life loss, now that I have Marionette Master, is I will sack six treasures doing 24 damage to you. I will use that floating yep. mana to then sack a clue, which will do the last four damage, killing you, yes. putting you at no life. Because that was the only way with this deck, even with all this mana, that I could get around your Glacial Chasm because I didn't have land destruction. Which I feel teaches you how important it is to put at least a strip mine in your deck. Yeah, strip mine uh, or um, ghost quarter. Ghost quarter is probably the best one <laughs> to pick up because it still does the job. I got really lucky with that smothering tide, but I think it shows how broken smothering tide could be if you don't have some kind of enchantment removal. Which then you had, but then I had the Teferi's protection. It was a good game. Pay for I should have put the Golgari rot farm back into my deck. Good game, guys. I think I might have to run it back with Kozilek. Dude. Yeah. yeah, you can play Kozilek because I know that that deck could do some more. I want to play this again sometime. Too, but that was a great game. You, yeah, did, get, you did. You were. I, I was worried about you for for a while. I'm glad we put you down to ten ish or something. You know, we we. we Put a little pressure you, you on got, the life total. You got total. me down. I had to like fight to get back up there. Hey guys, thank you for watching this episode of I Hit Your Deck. No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now, and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. Now it's time for the Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to thank Talon, Turn7, and Chris Weems. Thank you guys. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Los Angeles is the sunny home of we the wizards of the West Coast. The guests we fuck with on this epic show. I hate your deck. Guitar solo. All right. Competition is toe to toe. From Cash's monster fucking post below. The best commanders and the lowest blows. I, I hate your death. We're on a roll. Black, wow. So attack, play your cards, and say go. 
Be you white, blue, black, red, green, or gold? It's a counter spell? What's the deal, bro? I, I hate your dad! Now enjoy the show. I hate your deck. Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community.